Hello, and welcome to my playthrough of Ultima 4. Now, if you are really sharp, you will see that there are some changes that happened here. So I was trying to do some grinding off screen, and um, some stuff happened. Now, I did have the foresight to be recording the the uh, gameplay. I wasn't doing the voiceover here that I do. Uh, I was just recording the gameplay. So the first of these is I found myself as we shift scene here in the area of, of Trinzic. And so there was a companion that we hadn't gotten yet. So I figured we'd uh, go and check it out. It's a guy named Dupree at the pub. Previously, we were not leveled up enough on, I think it's Honor. And now we are at a three. So I thought it was a possibility that he might join us. He's the town leader. I just kind of went through his dialogue tree. Once again, trying to see if he's going to join us, you know, just just by saying, I, I want to join you. But uh, he's telling me about how it honors a constant quest. You have to polish it like fine armor or otherwise it'll tarnish. Blah, 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 blah. So finally, I just flat out asked him, will you join me? And so we have Dupree who has joined us. And so that is Awesome, awesome news. Now, the other thing you may notice is uh, there be a ship there. Just ran into it. I wasn't expecting it. So we, as you can see, I just opened a chest here and we were uh, just killing some things to, to, mix, to get some more gold. And I saw that ship. I thought, well, this is our big chance. So as you can see, there's only two of the pirates on the ship. And so I thought, well, that should be easily doable. And, uh, you know, it didn't, there's not a lot of room for us to fight. So at first it was just me and Joffrey to begin with that were able to do the fight. And everybody else was kind of stuck on shore. Uh, but it, it wasn't that hard. I mean, that guy's heavily wounded already. Uh, all right, so he missed, and I, they're just taking practice swings, so they feel maybe to be a little intimidated, like, yeah, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, sucker. But, um, yeah, that guy's fleeing. Well, you're on a boat. I don't think you're going very far, and that guy's killed. So now we can really apply the screws. He's got nowhere to go. He can't get off the ship. We're blocking the game planks, and it's just a matter of time before he succumbs to our will. He's still fleeing, but he's got no place, no place to go. I brought all the, most of the, our team up, but mainly just to intimidate him. I think more than anything else, because it's not like we need five of us or six of us now to kill him. And there we go. Victory. We now have a ship that's hopefully going to stay there for us. And, um, you know, as it is right now. And we can get onto it. So my initial thought process was to uh, do our first delving into a dungeon today. But we have a ship. <laughs> we have a ship. So uh, let's look at a couple things here. Um, so let's just kind of take a look at our stats. So like, uh, let's just start off for, for, for everybody. So uh, I don't think anybody's eligible for a level up right now. So I need to get to 3,200 XP uh, before I can. Um, Shamino needs to get to, I believe, 800 to get to level five, if I remember correctly. Uh, so everybody's kind of right around the 600 mark there, give or take. Uh, Dupree, our new paladin. So you can see he's, he's got some magic points. He's got uh, some strength, uh, pretty good dexterity and pretty good intelligence. So he's got a sword and chain mail. So he's got probably the best armor of any of us. He's a level three, which is nice, a nice step up from level two. Uh, that we've usually gotten for companions. So he's got uh, a maximum of 300. Now you see we're down on on, on hit points right now uh, for everybody because we've been running around fighting things to get gold. You notice I don't have a ton of gold and that's because uh, I have been spending money like crazy and we'll get to that here next. Um, we are going to pop inside the Lord British's castle and just get a quick heal up just get a quick, quick heal up because I think there is another companion in the offing, but we're going to use our sailing ship or try to, to get there and do that. Let's, um, and Iolo, uh, he needs to get the 1600 to get the level six. So he's getting there, but he's got a little ways to go. 
Nothing's changed there. Nothing's changed there. Runes. You might notice that we've got a lot of reagents. With the exception of Black Pearl, we have a few. And that's because part of that money, we had a decent amount of money, and I've actually spent all that and made more and spent that and whatever. And I've done a couple things. Number one, I have, you'll see our food is up. We're in the 200s now because we're going through it faster because there's six of us. And we also have a number of free agents, and this is not even uh, matching what, what, I, what I've bought because I've also done a lot of spells. So you'll see I've got three awakened spells. We got 16 cure spells. We have 30 dispel spells. And these are the spells that uh, remove um, uh, force fields. And I think that's going to be necessary for dealing with our dungeoning. So I think that might be, that might be good. Um, and then we've got uh, 24 fireball spells. Uh, we had 25, but I, I used one uh, in one of, a, one of the... Uh, we were fighting some demons, and so I used one of those. We got 15 healing spells, 6 light spells, 5 open spells, uh, 4 protection spells, 5 quickness spells, 6 sleep spells, and then 2 exit spells to get us out of there. So we've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff there. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Let's go and enter here. Now I do, now that we got the ship, it just dawns on me, there is another spell that, uh, I probably should have a few of in my, in my quiver. And that is wind change here. And the way we make that guy is sulfur ash and blood moss. Two things I have a lot of. So that's A and that's E. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is very quickly here. I'm going to make about 10 of these. And that'll help us. That way we can, because we're going to have to worry about the winds now. If, you know, obviously, we can only go where the winds are uh, for the most part. Let's see, winds, winds, winds. We're at seven. So three more. And I've got a few more. I mean, I can always, cra I can always mix on the go, I think, a little bit. But it's good to have them handy. So we got... 10 available handy and available for use excellent all right let's go up and get a quick healing and then let's take to the high seas let's take to the high seas man i am ready to do a little sailing today all right climb up yeah so what i was going to do is is there's a there's a dungeon under that you might recall that we found the entrance to it. Some guy warned us off uh, that we, if we went down there, we couldn't get back out that way. Uh, and so I thought, well, that's probably the first dungeon that we would find in normal gameplay. So maybe that would be the easiest one to tackle, or it's at least a dungeon to tackle. So that's what was my plan for today. Uh, we were, I was asking to start over in Magencia because I think we might be able to, I'd gone to level six. I want to try to get that companion there. And I think what we'll do is we will, we will uh, try to sail to Magencia. Now that we have the sextant and, and all that. So let's talk to Lord British. Yep. Nobody's, nobody's ready for, for level up. Nope. Heal our wounds. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Very good. That will do it. Get out of my way, Jester. Let's get out of here. Let's get to our ship. Descend. And let's try our hand at sailing. I have not tried this. I have I haven't even boarded the ship. I killed the I killed the pirates and then I saved the game. So I've done nothing. All right, so we'll board the ship. And now we are in the frigate. Okay, so I believe the wind's coming out of the west right now. So we can kind of tack. What I probably couldn't do right now would be move due west. Okay, this stuff is a little bit... Locate our position. So Magencia is at K, J, and L, L. So we're at H, C, and G. 
So I think we're kind of, I think we need to go to the south, to the south uh, east a little bit here. This is, there's a strong current here. It's kind of tough. Let's go south a bit if I can. All right, winds out of the west. That's going to help me go that way. I, 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 currents plus the wind, obviously. All right, so there's some shallower water there. See, I can't really, I can go, but I can, it's really slow. Where's that? Oh, I think that's, <laughs> oh no, that's an island. That is an island. I'm not sure which islands these are. Oh, these might be the islands. Is that pause? I don't think that's pause. All right, let's 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 see what this is. Oh, this is pause. This is pause. Uh, I don't think there's anything I want to do in pause. Let's board our... Forget. Okay, broadside over. So let's go up this way. Fire our first broadside. Ah, we're fighting them now. Hopefully that's done some damage to them. All right, that Nixie's fleeing. I'm going to have to get my people that are melee. Oh, good job. These guys are not super duper strong. Which is okay with me. But I'm gonna have to get them to the points here and then and then I guess uh, Iolo and I using the range weapons will have to uh, come up behind and provide some assistance. That Nixie's fleeing. Alright. We have one flea from us. Attack that one. That one's dead. That one's lightly wounded. Stay put. Move you over. Okay. All right. So that Nixie is fleeing. All right. And then there was three. And then there was two. All right, Iolo. I think it's going to be up to you. Well, maybe not. Can I? I can't. I got to get on the other side of... I don't know if that's the wheel or if that's the mast. But I got to get on the other side of it in order to help her. And that one's fleeing. That Julia was fighting. So I'm not certain I'll be able to get there in time to help. I guess we'll see. I think he's going to get out of here. Yep, he is. All right. And, of course, no gold. So the wind's from the south. Let's just head due east for now, for the moment. All right. Locate position. We're at I. I-P-I-N. So Magency is a K. So H-I-J-K. So we're getting close. Let's go a little bit more east. Locate position. I to J. All right. So we've got lots of... You know, we are doing slow progress because now we're sailing against the wind. The wind's coming out of the east. Um, let's see where we're at. Still I and J. So to get to L, H-I-J-K-L, so we have to go south. So let's go south a bit. So we're at J. Okay, longitude, we're at K already. Latitude, we're still at J. Let's come down. Still J. K-A. So latitude... 
So KJ is KE, KJ, perfect. So now we need to get over to L. And that's, there's Magentia. Let's just go around this island and see what else is here. So there is a dark island that is supposed to be where the, supposed to be where the um, shrine is for humility. And I was thinking it was this island. It is not. All right, so let's exit here. Let's enter Magentia. And sadly, we have to risk it. All right, so cast. Cure. Who got it? Joffrey. Joffrey. It's annoying, but what are you going to do? All right. You meet a shepherd. What's your name? It's like Katrina. That is right. Now, remember, this was this 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 gal was like, you are not experienced enough. That's when I was level five. So I am now level six. Um, a survivor. So she survived Magentia. Pride flourishes in the absence of tooth and courage. Yep, yep, we knew that. I am not proud. Humility is a virtue that overcomes. Humility. Okay, join. Thou art not experienced enough still. Okay, I was hoping. I was really hoping. I was really hoping that, whoops. All right, you can't help me. So how far am I? I got to get the 3,200, so I have a ways to go. I was really hoping level six would do it, but apparently not. All right. All right, well, fare thee well, lady. All right, where do we want to go? Let's head, let's head, eh, it's going to be a little problematic. Let's head north from here a little bit. Let's just kind of explore and see what we find on the seas. See, this might be where a wind change would be. Spell might be handy, but since we're not really in any particular, you know, we're not really trying to go in a particular direction. Okay, so here we've got blocks. So that must be like a shoal. Yeah, that must be like a shoal or something along those lines. So what is this? Oh, I think that's a, I think that's the Lyceum. I think. Let's get out and check. It is the Lyceum. Did we have anything we need to do here? We do need to find some guy named Antos here. So maybe, and we haven't been to the Lyceum in a while. I am Shylock the Meek. Did I talk to this guy before? I sit and beg, oh please. Give me money. Oh, I'll give him 20. All right, just just a standard beggar. The way he was sitting in the corner, I thought, hey, maybe he's got something interesting to say, but no. They just didn't want him cluttering up the front doorstep. All right, what's your name? He's a, he's a, he's not going to be Antos. He's Timus. All right. What's your name? True seeker. All right, so let's just see if we can find this guy named Antos. Another person lost in thought. True seeker, thank you. How dare you, sir? Turn away from me. Give me your name. True seeker, all right. You're not big on names here. True seeker, okay. So none of these people have names. I'm looking just, I'm keep trying to keep an eye out for secret passages that maybe I've missed. But I'm not seeing any. 
can't remember if I've jimmied that lock before. I do not believe I've been here. I do not believe I've been here before. Okay, this looks interesting. Lord Terrence. Wow, what is your job here, Lord Terrence? I am the librarian. L-I-B-R, let's see. Herein is the largest store of knowledge in Bria Britannia except the Codex. Art thou looking for a particular book? I don't think so. I don't have any notes about particular books that we're supposed to be looking for, so I guess I will say no. Feel free to browse. Well, thank you. Let's see what's going on up here. So... Okay, let's locate. It's not like a look at. I'm not seeing any secret passages off of here. Let's talk to this guy. Short Druid, what's your name, sir? Estro, what's your job? Research. What are you researching? Um, hmm. Okay, he hasn't heard about the skull of Mondraine, I think that's how, how you're saying it. Uh, ba -ba, Mondaine, I think I spelled that wrong. No, I spelled it right. I just said it wrong. Okay. Castle. We need to find out about the bell, book, and candle. Let's just ask just for chuckles. Okay, you're not. What's the purpose of this? I'm just going to search everywhere and just to see if there's something here. I guess I don't need to search spaces twice. It'd be nice if it was, there was some knowledge here that we could get. Oh! Like that, the Book of Truth. Okay. Let me just make sure there's not something else. All right, dude, I really want you to move. <laughs> Are you stationary? I thought I saw you someplace else. Come on, come on, go for a walk, go research someplace else. There we go. Yeah, you are moving. Come on. Wow, he likes that corner. Very comfortable in that corner, I see. Yeah, that's it. Go someplace else. Go take a coffee break. You're still blocking my path, sir. All right, there we go. <laughs> Nothing there. I mean, the Book of Truth, I think, is what we're supposed to get. Let's talk to this guy again. Book. Look under T. Okay. Well, this is the thing that we're supposed to find here. I mean, Antos, if we found him, he would have pushed us. He would have pushed us to this. So these are actual these are actual things we can find, which means I don't think we have the candle. I think it's the Empath Abbey that's supposed to have the candle, if I remember correctly. And we've not found the candle. Or maybe it's the bell. I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, but we've got... So Truth is a book... We have love and courage. So which would be the candle and which would be the bell? Not totally sure, but there are actual artifacts. So let's see. Can we see that someplace? Oops. Look at our stats. Get out of the conversation tree, Keith. All right, so. Book. Okay, so this is book. 
right there. So we've got the Book of Truth. So we actually need to get back to the Abbey at some point and find uh, either the, whether it's a candle or the bell of truth or of love. Excuse me. This is truth. Well, excellent. Wow. I must not have had um, any magic keys the last time we were here. All right, is there anything else I missed in here? Any other locked areas that we've not been? This is the observatory. So A, that's Lord Britain. Um, that's the Abbey here. Uh, yeah, because there's yeah, that's that's where we're at right now. I'm just trying to see if there's stuff that I don't recognize. I don't have the I don't have the I think that might be I think that might be Let's see, we are at the Lyceum. I think this is Empath Abbey. I think this is Empath Abbey because you've got the throne room there kind of in the upper right quadrant here and then you go through this hidden door into the gold and then you come out here and this is where you talk to the bard down here. I'm pretty sure. I just want to walk, go through all of these because I didn't before. All right, and then we've got... Maybe this is Serpent Castle. This is not looking familiar at all. And I'm finding those those rooms look like hidden rooms. They're off of this. Uh, they've got gold there, off of the uh, throne room, I guess we'll call it. So yeah, I have to look for those when we get there. I'm gonna say the D is Serpent's Castle. E. I don't know that I recognize this. This might be. This might be what? This might be Moonglow, actually. I think this might be Moonglow. Yeah, I think that is. That's Moonglow. So E is Moonglow. This guy is Britain. F is Britain. This place, we've been here, I think. This looks more like, I wonder if this could be the Abbey. I'm not certain. I'm not certain what G is. So this is... Might be Yalo. It's one of the towns. It's one of the towns. This because this is the jail there on that the upper upper building off to the off to the left. That's the jail where we um, had the we fought that guy and then didn't fight him and he escaped. Where we accidentally did the uh, the jailbreak. Okay, H search I. I remember this place. Might be Yellow. Not 100% certain. What I'm really looking for are places that I've not seen before. So we've seen a couple of them. We do know there's a t there, there is a village we don't know about yet. That, well, that we haven't seen. J. We've been there. I think that's... Uh, yeah, we've been there. I'm not totally sure where that's at, which one that is, but I definitely recognize that. Okay. And we've been there. I'm thinking that might be which 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 which, which town was that would that have been? That might be Trinsic. I'm not totally certain. That might be Trinsic. That's Magentia. Easy. That 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 one's easy.
Isn't that the same one we just saw? Oh, yeah, because I did. I went back when I should have. That one, that's pause, I'm pretty sure. Because down in the lower, lower right is the stables. So I'm pretty sure that's pause. That one's not ringing any bells, but that looks like it's got like a moat feature or something like that. So that might be that, that missing village that's supposed to be someplace by Lock Lake that we've not found yet. This place we've been. I think this is uh, Vesper. I believe this is Vesper because that's like the guild shop down there at the bottom center. I'm pretty sure. And then the last one. Hmm, interesting. I don't know that I'm recognizing this one offhand. So we still looks like have a few places to go to that we've not been to before. All right. All right, interesting. I think we've got, I mean, I really wasn't coming in here with any intention of finding anything what's in here just gold yeah 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 any other secret passages someplace else negative all right i'm not going to steal the gold because that's not how avatars roll let's go back outside and get back on our ship And actually, before we do that, I just want to bring up the map and remind myself where exactly we are. We're on the island where Moonglow's at. Right, so Verity Isle is the island. So if we went down the south, we'd find Moonglow. We could go up north from the Lyceum and a little bit east and visit Dagger Isle. We don't know what might be there. And um, and then we can, I don't know, maybe visit visit Vesper again or something. Uh, I'm just kind of enjoying enjoying the sailing life. Okay, so let's board our frigate. We care nothing for you, Mr. Orc. Let's get outside of the shoals. Winds in the east, so. You're going to follow us, but you can't. We go, you cannot follow. So once we get past this and come over here a little ways, they actually might share the same. Oh, man, these guys are just like intense. So once I get past these shoals and come over here a little ways, yeah. Okay. Ooh, there's Verity Isle. Lots of poison. Lots of poison. Oh, we goody. We've got... This this dude. Oof. Notice. Oh my gosh. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, you gotta get over there. You gotta get over there. You gotta go over there. You gotta get over there. Attack. We need to thin these numbers. So fireball for your face. Ooh, nice. And it may have been a bit of overkill. All right, I'm gonna go up and help. Uh, I should go. I should go down and help Dupree because he's uh, he's got the lowest XP, and Julie doesn't have anybody on them yet. Although Dupree's doing all right. Come on, Iolo. Take care of that guy. Lightly wounded. Squid fleeing. Good. The bad thing about this is it eats up eats up um, XP or uh, hit points. That's the word I'm looking for. But it doesn't uh, provide any remuneration in the form of gold. Interesting, the ship was 40, and now it's 41, so it must heal over time, but obviously, if we are in a battle and can't get out of it, the ship 
could become so damaged that we might die. Trouble is, I don't know that we have a way of, you know, running away from a from a battle. Because we can't leave the field of battle because we're on a ship. That one's critical. You gotta wait. Uh. All right, there's another one down. All right, we got one escaped. We got a couple here that are trying to escape. Heavily wounded. Julia, get him! Fleeing. I'm going to go up and see if we I can get the fleeing one. Once again, fleeing, but still fighting. Now that one's fleeing. I think that one's going to get out of here before I can get a shot off. Yeah, see, we don't have anything. All right, let's continue our northerly progress, slow as it is, because we're going against the wind, and go around this island and just see what we can see. So we've got a little mini island here, and ah, ha, ha, you cannot get me. You suck. Oh, there's a lot of the little guys here, though think they want to get me. I think this is the mainland here off to the left. Yeah, that's the mainland there. But let's just kind of go around. Yep. I'm just, I'm comparing what I'm seeing on the screen here to what I'm seeing on the map. And so that's, this is that little that little bit of land that's immediately to the west of the ship, that's mainland. Obviously, this bit down here where the skellies at, that is Dagger Isle. So I don't know if there's anything on Dagger Isle. Dagger Isle? Other than lots of low-level people that want to kill us or otherwise inconvenience us. It's not looking like there's... Oh, 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 oh. Could this be... What shrines are we missing? This has got to be the Shrine of Honesty because the location clue we've been given is lies on Isle to north of Moonglow. Uh, the other one, Humility, is supposed to be guarded by hordes of demons and whatnot, and obviously we don't have that going on here. All right. Interesting. Let's, uh, are we ready for honesty, honesty, honesty? No, we are not ready for, we are uh, at, a, at a two, not an honest soul. So we are not, although... You know, darn it, in order to get in there, I am going to have to be close enough where these bozos can attack me. Can I get there from going around this little small island, perhaps? I mean, I could, but I don't necessarily want to. And, you know, let's go around this little small island and see what there is. Winds to the west. Well, this looks interesting. Another dungeon. Oh, dear. Let's just see which one it is. Deceit. All right, that's Dungeon Deceit. So we are, that's on this. I'll pop up the map real fast here. And if you see Dagger Isle kind of in the northwest quadrant, you're going to see... Um, I've got it labeled, but there is a smaller island that's to the west of that big long point. That's where we first saw there that had all the had all the swamp. So the smaller island, a little bit off to the east, that's where 
dungeon deceit is at. That is excellent, excellent news. It's interesting because looking at my things, uh, deceit is the opposite of honesty. And actually, the name that we've been given before is deceit truth. So I don't know if that's a different one or if if the actual name is smaller. So I don't know. We'll have to find out at some point. But let's uh, board our ship again. I think uh, we're we're about ready to be done with this episode, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to take all these bozos on. Oh, dear. You know what? I think we'll do that next time. I want to verify that that is the Shrine of Honesty. And I think we'll do that next time. But uh, thank you for joining me. We've got a boat. And that's fun. So we'll go up and double check that and make sure that's what I think it is. And then we'll continue sailing around and, and see what else we can find. I guess we might as well try to at least at least find our last shrine, which is a shrine for humility, which is supposed to be guarded by hordes of demons. So we probably won't be able to get close enough, although we are ready to ascend on, on humility. So maybe that's, but we need the silver horn. Yeah, so I think next time we got to go get the silver horn, which is clear on the other side of the map. So we've got a little sailing to do to go get that silver horn. We got to get over by Scarp, right? So, so we are going to be on the waves again next time. But thank you for joining me. I hope you'll come back for the next one where we will once again sail the mighty seas. And until next time, be seeing you.